In the last century, there was a Philadelphia businessman who was also Postmaster General of the United States. And he also was superintendent of the world's largest Sunday school. Somebody asked him, said, Mr. Wanaker, how can you have time with all your business interests and being Postmaster General to run the Sunday school? John said, the Sunday school is my business and these are other things. You know, he said 55 years ago, I really believe that God's word is sure. Matthew chapter six, verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Sadly, as we have entered this year, many will major upon the minor things and will look as minor the things that really count for eternity. What about your priorities? First things first. Now here we have a foundational truth from the lips of the Lord Jesus. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. The best investment for living. Putting God first. Now you'll notice the Lord gives us the two top priorities. Seek first the kingdom of God, the furtherance of God's kingdom and God's righteousness. And then all these things shall be added unto you. And the Lord was speaking that during a discourse about people seeking financial security or having to take care of their families and themselves. Now let's be honest. The reason why people get up in the morning and go to work is sadly not to pursue the kingdom of God and his righteousness, but to earn money to pay their bills. And we have to pay our bills as God's children. But the top priority, the great necessity for daily living is the Lord. Man's chief end is to glorify God and to enjoy him forever. When Paul was writing to the Corinthian church, speaking about the generosity of the Macedonian believers, he said this, and this they did not as we hoped or expected, but first give their own selves to the Lord and unto us by the will of God. They did it of their own accord, not because it was expected of them, because their hearts were right with God, they first of all gave their own selves to the Lord. Is the Lord first and foremost in your life? And then as God's children, to serve God faithfully, we need to have a right relationship with the family of God. The Lord Jesus said in Matthew 5, Therefore, if thou bring thy Give to the altar, and there rememberest that thy brother hath ought against thee. Leave there thy gift before the altar, and go thy way first. Be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. Being at peace in the family of God is of great importance for Christian witness. You know, it is so easy to point the finger at others. The Lord Jesus in chapter 7 of Matthew said this, And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Personal holiness is of vital importance before that we can be a help and be a blessing to others. Examine yourself. And then, as Paul writes to young Timothy, he says this in 1 Timothy 2, verse 1. I exhort, therefore, or I urge, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, 
intercessions and giving of thanks be made for all men. Now there is no doubt that Timothy would face many problems as he led the work of God. But Paul tells him it's important to seek God's face first. Pray. And how important it is for us if we're going to do a work for God this year, we need to bathe our efforts in prayer. Bring it all to God and ask for God's blessing as we live in such a dark day of apostasy. My dear friend, pray for all men, for all our sinners. And therefore, let's obey him. First things first. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Heavenly Father, bless your word to our hearts in Jesus' precious name. Amen.